Chris, let's start off with your Baylor Bears. Okay. Dave Aranda. Yeah. Left LSU. Things didn't work out so well in that first season, right? Two and seven. The wrong end of several one-score games. That was certainly not uh, not what he was planning on. And it's not ideal when you are firing your offensive coordinator after your first season, especially in a COVID season, right? Larry Fedora did not work out whatsoever with quarterback Charlie Brewer. Brewer said, deuces, I'm out. I'm going to head over to Utah and play in this boring offense because it's better than this thing that you're doing. So with that, you know, they bring in offensive coordinator Jeff Grimes from BYU. Had a really fun, like, he's known for, like, his zone run yeah. scheme, right? Um, fun offense at BYU. Don't know what he's going to do at Baylor. I'm very curious with I'm his sure first much year. Of the same. Oh, absolutely. But I, I'm curious, first year in, this is going to be a little strange, right? Um, he's, he's got no set quarterback now. Uh, it's an unstable offensive line. It's a non-existent running game from last season. The offense needs some kind of identity this year, and I think it's going to take a, a while to be able to get there. Uh, defense returns 10 starters at nearly every backup. I mean, almost the whole two deep is back. So that, that's definitely a step in the right direction, especially for Aranda. Um, you know, I, I will say this. I think they've got the best nickel in all of college football, in Jalen Petrie. Uh so at least the defense has got a scheme and everything that, that should be good. They they have their identity. They went one and three in one score games last year. They may have a lot of one score games this year. That's right. Like I really I think do they agree could. with that. And so the the win total is five and a half. To go over is plus one oh five. To go under is minus one thirty five. Um SP plus got them going six and six. FBI's got them going five and seven. You know, you you look down the schedule and I, I cannot find six wins here. Like, I, I, everything would have to go perfectly for this offense for them to get to even six wins for a bowl game, to me. Wow. So, yeah. I'm I'm going to go under the five and a half. At, I'm, going, I'm going over the five and a half. I, I think their floor is five. Really? Yeah. Like, I, I understand early, right? They, they got three wins right out of the gate. Texas State, Texas Southern, and Kansas. But then, you know, you... You don't think this team is significantly better than Texas Tech or Kansas State? But I, I even with those two, I think that gets that's us, five. That's only five. But that's a that's their floor. That means you you're telling me they don't win a single coin flip game. I mean that, that game is at Kansas State, so I, I think they could absolutely lose it. Okay. Like I I think as far as coaching goes, like Chris Kleiman was not great last year, but I expect to bounce back from them, especially at for a home game. You know, I I don't know. Like, playing at Kansas State coming off of a game against Oklahoma, like, not ideal. No, so Not ideal at all. And so you're, you get, you're going you get, over. You get Texas off of your bye week. That's a that's a game they always show know, up in. Show up in. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I'm – I just I, – I think that this is still a, a rebuilding project. I, yeah, I do too, but I don't think six wins is not rebuilding considering I don't – I think you've got five games that you can win pretty easily. Okay. That's my opinion. So you're, you're going with the plus juice, plus yes. 105. Yes. I can get down with it. Cheers to that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.